the Pod Breed Network is strictly for the small podcasts that are up and coming in the vast world of podcasting. Pod Breed is made up of many diverse podcasts coming together to achieve the same goal of being the best damn podcast network on the planet. Find out more at podbreed.com. Looking for a short form podcast? 10 minutes or less, three days a week. The female hosted podcast you didn't know you needed. You're listening to Drea's Point of View with your hostess, Drea. I'm one of those who doesn't make resolutions anymore. I feel that if you want to change something or start doing something, there's no time like the present. Why wait? For those of you who do, with the Enneagram, you can set goals with an understanding of what it will take to change your habits. So this episode will be about setting resolutions that will last by matching your personality to goals. Welcome to my podcast, Drea's Point of View. I am your hostess, Drea. Drea's Point of View can be found on Pinterest. Facebook, Instagram, and Clubhouse. If you're part of the Twitter world, you can follow me at Drea Point. Sean Palmer, author of Speaking by the Numbers, an Enneagram Wisdom for Teachers, a pastor and communicator, talks about how knowing about the Enneagram can help people keep their resolutions. The first type is the perfectionist. They are motivated by being right and trying to call others to a sense of purpose. They have a habit of fixing things that aren't theirs to fix, and their resolution should be to forgive others when mistakes happen. Type 2 is the helper. This type can calm families and workplace environments. They try to people-please and may revise support from others who want to serve. They may think helping others will make them a hero, but never ask for the help of others. Their resolution? They may want to consider asking for help with a chore, like filing at work, or doing the dishes. Type 3 is the achiever. They are trying to take the shortcut with things. They can adapt to those around them to fit in. They sometimes ignore their own happiness and may find it hard to take part in team-building exercises. A resolution for them to consider is to do one fun activity a week that doesn't lead to social media likes. Type 4 is the individualist. They remind us that our feelings are valid by being sentimental. If they feel that some are getting too close, they will withdraw to see if some will chase after them. They will test their relationships this way. The resolution for them is to develop a routine so that you tend to relationships when you don't feel like it. Type 5 is the thinker. They usually research their resolution first. I think I may fall into this category because they make sense of things by reading and studying. They make families and workplaces better, and they may struggle with putting their research to work through everyday decisions. Their resolution? They may want to consider having an accountability partner. Type 6 is the guardian. They are responsible people who can spot a pitfall before anyone else. They seek reassurance from dominant leaders. They have to stay grounded in what is real and what's not based out of distrust. They may want to consider making a list each week to determine what you know versus what you think. The seventh type is the enthusiast. They are known to run from commitment. They may have more than one resolution and are spontaneous. The eighth type is the boss who talks over others. They're thought of as being powerful, which is more about their self-confidence. They don't like being controlled and may aggressively push back. They may want to listen to others sharing how they feel. Type 9 is the peacemaker. They like to go with the flow and they tend to be passive. This type makes up about 13% of the population. A resolution for them is to pay attention to your wants and needs and practice being more direct. So which number are you? And are you going to make any resolutions? I have enjoyed bringing you Season 6 and plan to return the latter part of January. I want to make some tweaks to my show and try to implement some things I learned from the Afros and Audios conference. Please make sure your notifications are on and that you're checking out some of my previous episodes. I can use your support. And, of course, don't forget to listen to me on Thursdays at RTC Radio from 2 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can listen, please do so on your Alexa device, downloading the RTC Radio app, or by going to rtcradio.co.uk. 
I want to thank you for listening to me this season, and a special thanks goes to some of my college friends that recently found out about my show, and I didn't even have to tell them about it. One left a review, and the other is a subscriber. Well, I hope both of them are subscribers, but I really appreciate them from the bottom of my heart. Until next year, this has been Drea's Point of View. And there you have it, another episode in the books for my podcast. Don't forget to go to my website, thedreaspointofview.com, to check out my merchandise shop, leave a review, and to catch up on my episodes. Thanks again for listening.